The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing. But at your command, I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish, and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats, so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord. For I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of the fish they had made seized him and all those with him. And likewise James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Pakibati din ang good morning ang ating mga katabi. It's so good for us to be here together in this Mass. Also to our online parishioners, thank you for praying with us. Your intentions are also offered in this Mass. Again, I always beg your indulgence if you would allow me. Let us go deeper into our Gospel reading today. We move from Luke chapter 4 to Luke chapter 5. And if, again, if you would allow me, let us unpack the very rich meaning of our reading today. Mind you, it's not an ordinary reading because it takes some scrutiny and analysis for us to understand it. Why do I say that? Because in the Gospel of Matthew and Mark, the call of Simon came first before the healing of Peter's mother-in-law. So Simon was called first in Matthew chapter 4, 18, and then Jesus heals his mother-in-law in Matthew 8, 14. Also in the Gospel of Mark, Jesus calls first Peter and the other disciples in Mark 1, 16, and then he heals the mother-in-law of, mother of Peter in Mark 1.30. Luke, however, our reading for today has a different sequence. Yesterday, we read about the healing of Peter's mother-in-law and now, chapter 5, it begins with the call of Simon. Nagpaliktad yung order. And if you are to be logical about it, ang logical ordering dapat ay tinawag muna ni Jesus ang mga alagad at saka 
siya'y nagpagaling o kaya'y pinagaling ni Jesus ang biyanan ni Simon. Pero St. Luke has a different idea. So this gives us, first of all, an idea that we should not take the Bible literally again because it was not written in a logical sequence or even in the order of time chronologically. There's always a reason why the writers would put it this way or would put this episode before another episode. So, why did Luke present to us the call of Peter after the healing of Peter's mother-in-law? Well, for Luke, he wants to tell us about the story of the call of Simon. In Matthew and Mark, it was just Jesus passing by by the lake of Galilee, and then he calls the fishermen, come follow me, and then right there and then, they dropped their nets, they left their boats, and then followed Jesus. But in Luke, he gives us more details about the call of Simon. So are you ready to take on that journey with the call of Simon? Because Jesus was already by the lake being pressed in on by the crowd and everyone was interested in listening to him remember they just came from the synagogue and then house of peter healing the mother-in-law of peter and now he goes by the lake again if you're familiar with the geography of sea of galilee capernaum is just a few meters from the lake so from the from the synagogue to the house of peter and now to the lake and jesus was being pressed in by the crowd Everybody was interested because so many got healed, including Peter's mother-in-law. Everyone was pressing in on him. Napakaraming mga tao na nakapalibot na kay Jesus, dinudumog na siya ng mga tao. And where is Peter? Where is Simon? He is in his boat, apparently disinterested in what is happening around him. What gives? But ganon. Pinagaling na ni Jesus ang kanyang mother-in-law, supposedly should be there in front of the crowd. He should be the bodyguard of Jesus now. But where do we find Peter in Luke chapter 5? He is in his boat, tending to his nets. So nakikita natin doon yung hindi gaanong interesado pa si Peter. Okay, I got impressed by you, know, you healing my mother-in-law. But I need to go on with my business. Pamilyado akong tao, Jesus. Kailangan ko magtrabaho para sa pamilya ko. Kailangan ko mangisda. So okay lang, pinagkakaguluhan ka ng mga tao. I have to work today. I have to work. And last night, I work also. Peter was saying to himself. But he did not catch anything last night. So Jesus noticed that. Jesus noticed the disinterestedness of Peter and now he asks Simon for a favor. Are you following me? If you are reading the gospel, you will be seeing Jesus asking Simon, can I borrow your boat? So Simon was busy with his nets, washing the nets, not minding Jesus, and then Jesus asked him, Can I borrow your boat? Nagparamdam si Jesus, Uy Peter, parang wala kang interes ha. Pwede pahiram ng bangka mo? Ang sabi naman ni Simon, Of course, you can, you can, you know, pinagaling mo binan ko eh. <laughs> Ang, uh, so, pwede mong hiramin yung bangka ko. And then, second request, Jesus said to Simon, Pwede bang ilayo-layo mo ng konti? Ay, talaga naman si Jesus, no? Nag-request na nga na makasakay ng bangka. Bakit hinihiram ni Jesus yung bangka? Kasi ang dami ng tao na tinutulak siya papunta ng dagat. So, wala na siyang tatayuan. Kailangan niyang manghiram ng bangka. So, hiniram niya yung bangka ni Simon. And then, the second request of Jesus to Peter, can you, you know, pwede bang ilayo-layo ng konti? Para marinig ako ng mga tao. And Peter obliged. Sige, sige. Ilayo ng konti. Let's, uh, let's set the boat a little farther from the shore. 
And then nagsalita, nagpaliwanag, after the sermon of Jesus, then he attends to Peter. Again, Peter is not so interested in what Jesus was saying. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water. Third request. So hiniram yung bangka, pwede bang ilayo ng konting bangka? Third request, pwede bang mangisda tayo ulit? Doon na napakamot with sarcasm si Peter, Lord, we have been at it all night, we did not catch anything. Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing. But at your command, I will lower the nets with sarcasm. Eh, sige, kung sabi mo, edi, sino bang mangingis na dito? Imagine the journey of Peter. It was a gradual process of Jesus, in a way, coming to him. It was not so soon. It was not so drastic. Peter had to grow also in his response to Jesus. First of all, Peter was busy with his nets and his fishing. Meron siyang pamilyang papakainin, meron siyang mother-in-law na kailangang pakainin, so hindi siya pwedeng mawala sa trabaho niya. Pero pinakialaman ni Jesus ang trabaho niya, hiniram ang kanyang bangka, pinalaot siya. Na siya na nga ay nagpagod buong gabi, wala siyang nahuli, and this guy, coming from Nazareth, tells him, put out into the deep, let's fish again. And Peter, sarcastically, was telling the Lord, nangisda po kami buong gabi, wala kami nahuli. O ikaw na mangisda, sige, mangisda tayo para mapakita lang galing mo. Ganon si Peter. Eh, sabi mo, edi sige, pumunta tayo. Nakikita niyo po yung, 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 uh, yung gradual uh, growth of Peter in, in his relationship with the Lord. And then, the rest is history. Pumalaod sila ulit at punong-puno ng isda ang kanilang bangka. Kailangan pang tawagin ng bangka ni na, ni na James and John para makuha ang mga huli. And when they went back to the shore, napaluhod si Simon. He fell down on his knees and he said to the Lord, Depart from me, I am a sinful man. Meaning, all throughout this time, yes, he is grateful that Jesus healed his mother-in-law, but at the end of it all, I am a fisherman. I have a family to feed. I cannot, you know, I cannot attend to you. But Jesus had a way of getting into Peter. Brothers and sisters, that's the story of our lives. We have our, our nets. We have our boats. We have our families to attend to. And a lot of times, we don't mind Jesus coming over Kahit marami na siyang miracles na binigay sa buhay mo, kahit marami na siyang pinakita na mga kakababalaghan sa buhay mo at sa pamilya mo, we are not still satisfied. And we are not still ready to follow Him and to leave and drop our nets in order to follow Him. Because we are busy people. But the Lord, look, look, look at what He did. Gradually, ang tawag po ng mga salespeople dito, Foot in the door technique. Foot in the door is a little request, another request, and then eventually everything is given. When the Lord makes legal of us, He, he does it gradually. Hindi naman yun na 180 degrees agad, like what happened to Saul on the road to Damascus. With Peter, it was a gradual pandiligaw. It's a gradual invitation Peter, can I borrow your boat? Peter, can you put it out a little farther? Peter, can we fish? And even if Peter was struggling, even if Peter was not very interested at first, even if Simon was resisting, the Lord is like the hound of heaven. He will get to you in one way or another. He will get into your boat. He borrows it first and eventually he takes it over. That's what he does in our lives. Jesus comes to us very gently and appeals to us. Can I borrow your boat? The Lord is also asking all of us today, Can I borrow your boat? Can I borrow a bit of your time? 
Can I borrow a little of your talent? Can I borrow a little of your resources? Let's put that into good use. And then eventually Jesus comes nearer and closer until eventually we can say no to him anymore. And we say to the Lord, yes, Lord, I will follow you. And what did the Lord say? Just to end. What did the Lord say to Simon at the end? Simon, don't worry about your business. You will still be catching, but no longer fish, but you will be catching men from here on. Hirap din si Simon na iwanan yung kanyang bangka. Hirap din si Simon na iwanan yung kanyang kabuhayan. Hirap din si Simon na iwanan yung kanyang pamilya at biyanan. But when Jesus came calling, it was hard at first, but eventually he said, Yes, Lord, I will be a fisher of men with you. So this is the beautiful story of the call of Simon Peter. And all of us, dear brothers and sisters, are also called in that sense. Sometimes the Lord just gently nudges us, gently comes our way. Can I borrow your time? Can I borrow your talent? Can I borrow anything that you can share with me? And hopefully, when the Lord comes knocking at the door of our hearts, we oblige and we say, Yes, Lord, I would like to follow you. From here on, I will be a fisher with you. Thank you for coming to our Mass. Thank you for visiting the parish also. And to our online parishioners, thank you for praying with us today. Sometimes the Lord, when He calls us, it's not for us to take up the cross right away or deny ourselves. Yes, we'll go to that. Sometimes what the Lord will ask of us it's just a little favor. May I borrow your boat? Today, be ready. The Lord may want to borrow your boat and wishes to be on your boat today. Tomorrow is the birthday of Mama Mary. Let us celebrate this great feast together. Let us give praise and honor to our beloved mother on her birthday, September 8th, tomorrow at 7 a.m. Let us be together in Thanksgiving for the birth of Mama Mary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.